Hello guys and welcome to a wrong gamer video. I'm gonna do a quick review. Should I stop using the word quick anymore? <laughs> but uh, right, so this is gonna be a review of the Oni's event that is due to land land tomorrow, uh, which re which features uh, Oni, uh, uh, the, uh, the physical paladin, uh, divine paladin that's uh, appearing in a alliance with the event for the first time. So uh, as I've done before, I'm going to make a skills breakdown for Oni. Uh, so as the Titan himself goes, uh, this is really where I find uh, the the real strength of Oni being uh, there. So you get a lot of health, a lot of armor, and you get uh, basically max resist to poison. Uh, you will also get... 44% uh, uh, resistance to two separate elements but in addition to that you will get a 40% overall elemental resist so what that means is your void is basically going to be maxed out remember 90% uh, is the maximum resistance you can get to any element i.e. 10% damage will always get through so uh, you, you will get maxed resistance for that you will also get uh, almost max resistance that's 88 percent effectively uh, well yeah effectively 88 84 percent sorry not 88 84 percent to two other elements now now when they say random element uh, it could mean these two random elements could actually land up being the same uh, so it's a bit of a roll of a dice here but what you are effectively looking at is um, being able to with a with a deep with with you know, with some tweaking of the builds quite easily be able to build up a max all elemental resist paladin now remember the uh, asgardian five star relic does give the titan himself or herself a uh, i think a 60 percent all elemental resist as well so basically if you have that relic it doesn't really matter what those elements are you can cap out the resistance of oni so oni can be become qu quite strong uh, of course, he does not have any melee or range resist, so yeah, and which is quite important these days. So if you want to stack those up, those will have to come from relics separately. Uh, now, uh, the, the, we have gotten information about prestige skill for Oni at this point. Um, we do not uh, know information for a lot of the titans, but uh, shout out to Yuki, whose website dotdatabase.net. Uh, is uh, uh, will soon have all the the skills fleshed out and it's worth looking at that but what we know and this is from the devs blog itself that when your prestige level for uh, Oni is at 10 and this will require about 18 titans to get there um, I will be doing a separate video on this uh, very shortly uh, regarding the information we now know for sure regarding prestige so uh, we'll come to that when that happens but for now uh, what we know is for this for Oni you will get a 120% base titan health uh, so which is good because uh, it means you will uh, you, you know it, it will it, well because it's at a prestige level 10 um, it will effectively uh, well add 120% to the health that you have and then all the other healths that's 117% health will apply on top of that so it's a, a good buff that you will get for his health uh, but what the real uh, key skill here is that uh, when an enemy troop dies uh, that that only will cast shield spell on four friendly troops now a note on this and uh, this is what I've seen happening in uh, all the auto rage titans right now um, and feel free to point out if I'm wrong in this you know shield spells have a certain radius right so if all your troops are assembled at a point then even though the shield spell is being cast on a, on a troop does it if if it is cast the same way we cast our spells it would actually mean that it will affect all the troops that are within the shield spell radius right but uh, so if that happened then these four uh, friendly troops that get it if they are four separate bunches and if they manage to cover the entire troop loadout your friendly troop loadout you could effectively have a shield spell for all the troops 
But if this isn't the case, then what it would mean is that the AI will accurately uh, cast shield spell to only those, uh, only four, precisely four troops, so it will be four Goliaths, four Spearman Battalion units, whatever, uh, and uh, you will get those. And remember, this can only happen a total of five times, so uh, unlike your Totec, which has this sort of invoke of ability where when an enemy troop dies there's a certain chance of uh, you of uh, him or her doing something special here uh, it's it's a five it happen it happens five times and it's a guarantee it will always happen there isn't a chance associated with it so that's quite interesting uh, now in terms of the troops this is more of a salad titan I call it in terms of the troops because he he doesn't he doesn't all round buff any particular type of physical troops so your militia get a massive uh, x skill damage 360% which is brilliant you do get two militia two omega militia summon but you don't get ap when it comes to spearmen you get a lot of armor but you don't get any health uh, and for archers you get armor piercing but no damage so this is a very uh, <laughs> strange but I, I i personally wouldn't use this titan uh, as at least in today's meta as a summon based attacker uh, and I see based on what we have at the moment is this Titan is well suited for lower level castle players now that said uh, for those who do have an Oni from before because you could technically have this Titan already from uh, uh, you know from previous from pulling from the divine altar now if you have done that then and you're considering prestiging this up that is taking this titan to the next level and making it more op i'm not sure that's totally worth it um because only as a titan you know whether you would want to ever use only himself as uh you know as as the mega meat shield uh because remember you're not getting any damage off from 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 only so only would you know could technically with the right skill set you know there are relic loadouts stand a long time in the battlefield but you're going to need something uh, something far, some sort of ranged damage happening from the side now militia are not ranged troops but the archers do have uh, uh, do come in play so what you'll have to do is if you're going to make some sort of build uh, especially in the high level players you will have to look at significantly buffing the archer damage and possibly the uh, the omega archers damage as well uh, to make this successful so but that's going to be tricky because getting upwards of uh, sort of Uranus level um, or you know what are the other titans we have um, is it Dionysus or oh, sorry Cerberus as well so these kind of titans the amount of damage buff that they provide for archers you would probably not be able to get from from Oni so there's a bit of a struggle so I'm not totally impressed with Oni um, uh, being a level 25 castle level player uh, so that's my perspective on this but of course I leave it to you guys to make your judgment on that now this event is uh, starting tomorrow as I said before on the 11th of June it's a bigger soul count event 22,000 souls uh, not the 19,000 souls so this is a significant ask uh, for anyone going into this event now do remember though that uh, a lot of the souls towards the end are more of a do you want to get them so slash stretch goals you don't have to really go for it um, so and I'll talk about this very shortly now as well but for the boosters uh, two Titans offer you the maximum boost Onu, Oni and Tengu so if you have an old Oni lying around which is not a lot of us but if you do you will be able to grind with him for the 1.4 or if you have the Tengu which was recently offered uh, you could grind with him with the 1.4 Arvan and Solga offered in the last event will offer 1.2 and any 3 star and 4 star physical titan will give you a 1.1 uh, now that said uh, you know I'm uh, the, there is the relic for this event is Scarlet Candle now if this does offer physical souls uh, there is a chance that the uh, the ring, the physical ring, it's, I don't know what it's called, the Minotaur's ring, or one of those rings that uh, boost the number of physical souls you get from uh, event. Now, I know Minotaur can equip that, so there is a possibility that 1.1 can be made into a 1.3 boost if that particular soul boost relic works. So, do check that out. 
uh, hope that's the case that'll be good for uh, if that'll open up uh, this event with a larger boost for a larger number of people uh, now in terms of the significant milestone rewards in this event uh, the really one that I really want to talk about is one at uh, 11,000 souls a jade statue uh, the physical rune which I think is a naming typo or because I couldn't find any relic called physical rune I think what they mean is the um, uh, is the iron rune and I'll show that in a second uh, you've got the banner of banner of iron at 17k and I think the best relic in this event is at 19,000 souls which is Oni Uji Gatana um, and it has been available before I think it was in a theaters of war event and possibly in an alliance event but it's not a very common relic the new relic at 22,000 souls is Oni Oni Kavara I, might, I hope I'm pronouncing it right uh, you get a total of 700 divine gems, which is much, which is much, which more than last time. I think it's about uh, almost 200 more than last time, and you get four and a half thousand red gems from this event. Now, in terms of the alliance rewards, you will get uh, only from the top 50, and top 51 to 100, there's a chance. Well, there's a chance you will get uh, a level five Wukong. So uh, now Wukong is also available in the event itself at 12,000 souls. So um obviously you don't want to be in a, you, whether whether you want to get two wukongs and that could be an argument made given the prestige thing um but you have an option to get him if you land there not not to be honest if you ask me uh wukong in my books probably is more why uh, is going to be more useful um i'm going to show the skills in a second as well so anyway we'll keep that thought uh, a bit for later on now here's the key relics guys uh for the for now the reason only uh, uji katana is quite good is because of the, of the first and the last skill you get 50 percent all human troop damage and this is great for titans uh any titans as a runa cerberus dionysus um uh, and especially for those that have any spearmen sort of so pigsy is well, this is one of my favorite titans to use this relic with uh and you can you know really get a lot of output a lot of use from that relic on this um you also got the new relic oni oni uh, oni's oni gavara uh this relic uh the first slot is not very impressive in my opinion because you get uh, a massive 60 percent boost but that is for only the omega hold uh human omega hold so but the the interesting thing though is that it's for all human omega human omega troops so that's omega spearmen omega militia and omega archers so all of them will get a significant well 60 percent boost we consider significant and you will get a uh, tightening troop armor piercing addition of 30 percent which is not too bad and you get um, um, titan elemental resist and now this relic would not be super useful on only if you do have the five star s garden relic but if not could be a viable option to use but there is a chance by using this sort of relic um, you may only get some use from the second of the second uh, skill slot so I'm not a big fan I don't really consider this a great relic uh, especially not at 22,000 souls uh, now the stone rune sorry not the iron rune the stone rune once available well 15,000 souls is probably going to be my uh, going to be my second best relic in this event to get uh, because you get three raid spells now this relic is in fact is quite rare and i don't remember this being available in an alliance event uh, or even if it was it's probably only once or twice it's a great relic because you get uh, you get titan damage in addition to the raid spell as well so uh, titan uh, such as it doesn't and it doesn't have to be restricted to physical titans because when the first skill the way it's laid out it's 30 percent titan and army so it's not just a titan so you can equip it with uh, any any particular titan really and i will in fact be uh, looking forward to using this relic on my tengu uh, along with the staff of iron so that will give me six additional six total additional raid spells uh, so i think this is a fantastic relic um, and in fact one relic one titan which can use the stone rune uh, the staff of iron uh, and there's i think eros is i think it's eros is quiver one of those relics with eros can be really good on eros uh, because remember uh, eros uh, does an auto rage on his troops 
every couple of seconds or whatever it is. So there is that, that's 15,000 souls. Jade statue is one, actually I consider it a very good relic as well, my third best in this event because it gives it probably the biggest boost for Goliaths on their own. You get an 80% Goliaths damage boost um, and you also get some resistance to Earth. I used to use this relic a lot when I uh, did my Goliath versus Goliath uh, builds. Uh, I used to call them Hulk Smash Wars uh, when I put it on my Kronos. Great relic for Eros as well. Uh, possibly there's a, there, there is a possibility of using this relic to uh, you know create some really meta Goliath builds and uh, you know uh, one of the titans that in fact is underestimated and not used a lot is Koldan uh, which in fact could use this titan uh, this relic to big advantage. Uh, Banner of Iron uh, the great relic as well uh, probably the fourth best in this event uh, with 30% troop damage and uh, which is which is a base multiplier remember it's not 30% physical damage but troop damage and because uh, but only thing to remember this relic that can only be equipped on physical titans but a good relic to go on I, I use it on uh, my arrows I use it on my uh, occasionally on my well I think I always use it on my Cerberus um, and maybe on my Pixie as well uh, Mask of Dragons on the relic available at 7,000 souls. Uh, personally, not a fan. I would not really. I have this relic and I haven't maxed it. I have it for a long time. Um, the Titan Health I'm piercing is okay. It could it could become useful um, on some other Titan, not related to this event. Um, you know, but so, uh, and maybe if we see a reskilled Sarkon, maybe for that. Uh, now I just want to finish up with Wukong. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but Wukong I think is a solid skill set. The two additional shield spells that Wukong offers, um, I think, really stands out. Uh, of course, you do not probably want to get this Titan for its Titan skills, but the fact that he, uh, he summons three Goliaths, Omega Goliaths, um, and you get Archers. Uh, now he's very similar to Kronos. Um, and to an extent similar to uh, Eros as well, but it's kind of a half and half of the two because you uh, get you don't get five Omegas, Omega Goliaths like uh, like you get in Kronos, but you but you get three, which isn't too bad, uh, uh, and and you get archers, uh, three Omega archers as well, and the normal and and all the archers will have these massive damage buffs. So. I think uh, I think that's where I'll end, guys. I uh, we don't really know the prestige skill for the moment uh, at, for Wukong at the moment, but we will hopefully see more information in the coming uh, days as Yuki so graciously updates his web his website. Do check out dotdatabase.net. That's it for this video. I'll catch you all in another one.